Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing a Day's channel. JavaScript Lesson 12 is going to be on Array Manipulations. We can use properties and methods on arrays. The one property that we will use in arrays are the length property. Just same as in the string uh, manipulation lessons, we learned that the length property gives us the number of characters in a string. In array, it gives the number of items in array. So I have created this simple array called my array, which has three elements. So if I console log the length property of that array, we will get the value of three. Yes, we get three. Next, let's move on to the methods. We have push method. Uh, we have two types of methods. We have mutator methods and accessor methods. Mutator methods change the array permanently. So those doesn't return a copy of the array, they make the change to the particular array. Accessor methods don't do that. Accessor methods modify the array and return, do not modify the array, sorry, do not modify the array and return some representation of the array. So they take a copy of the source array and then change it and then return that new array without doing anything to the source array. Okay, so, so those are accessor methods. So let's start with the mutator methods first. We have push method, which adds an item to the end of the array. Let's do that. So my array, I'm going to push the item four into this array. And let's console log the array after that. And we will see one, two, three, and four. This is, this shows that this changed the my array by adding one item. Now the push methods adds an item to the end of the array. If you want to add an item to the beginning of the array, you have to use the unshift method. Now this will add the zero element to the beginning of the array. Let's check that out. Yes, we see zero added to the beginning of the array. We have pop, which removes an item from the end of the array. That means we will remove the item four that we added here and we are going to pop that out, which will return uh, the array without the last element. Okay, so if these, the my array dot pop also returns the removed element. So if, if you want to use the last item that was popped, you can use add last item that was in the array. And if you console log that, we will see the fourth item. Yes, we get four. That is what the pop method returns. Okay. Let's re remove that and let's move on to the shift method. So what does the shift method do? Shift method removes an item from the beginning. So that means with this array, we will remove the zeroth index element. Okay, so let's refresh. We get one, two, three, and four. Uh, next, we'll do the splice. The splice method takes in three arguments. You can pass in three arguments. The first argument says, okay, let's just take a look at what the splice method does. It replaces items from the array and add new items to it. So let's say that you I want to remove the first element one and add an item element called hello. That's what we are going to do. So the first parameter is going to say from where do you want me to start and remove the item. So if I put one, that means it's going to remove start from here. And if I put zero, that means is the number of items that you want to remove. So in here we have set zero. That means no items. We won't, we don't want to return it, remove any items. And third parameter or the fourth or the fifth, you can add two if you want. Fourth or the fifth to up to until n, you can add elements to this array. So now let's take off, take a look at this. What has happened? So it has, uh, let's remove this. So that, that we don't get confused. Okay, first it is 
we haven't removed any items because we have put zero here and we have asked it to start from one which is here and to remove let's put one here what this will do is it will start from here and it will remove one element and then it will add these two items to the array let's check that out as you can see the second item is missed that is because it started from here and it removed that item only one we can remove two that will get rid of the both the second item and the third item let's take a look at that yes and it will append the rest of the arguments that we pass okay that is the array splice then the array reverse method what does that do it reverses the order of the items in array right now we have one two three now it will reverse it that means we will get three two one let's refresh and we get three two one sort method sorts the array now let's do the sort method a sort method sorts the array so right now we have one two three which is already sorted now let's put in 10 at the beginning and let's try to do a sort but that doesn't work as we want that is because this sorting happens using unicode code points so it doesn't sort the way we want but luckily we can pass in a callback function and do this so the callback function is function we have two parameters a comma b and we can check if a is larger than b then we would want return 1 else if a is smaller than b we would want return minus 1 if both are equal then we don't want to do anything we just return 0 now let's check what happens We get 2, 3, and 10, which makes the which sorts the array. Okay, those are mutator methods. Now we are going to talk about accessor methods. So let's come in this and move on to the join method. So let's console lock this join method. Remember, these are accessor methods. They do not change the source array. They just return an array with the changes made. So array join converts this array into a string let's check that out we get 10 2 and 3 now if we want if we want to remove these commas we can pass an empty string which will remove the commas and of course we can pass in dash which will add a dash and a hyphen so next we'll talk about the index of method so index of will search the array and return if there is if this index of method finds the finds the item that we are searching for it will return the indices of that item if not it will return minus 1 so if we search for 0 100 which is not there we get minus 1 and if we search for 3 we should get the value of 2 yes we get the value of 2 next we have the filter method Filter meter returns a new array after comparing it using a function. So let's do that. Let's come in this and let's create filtered array equals to my filter array. Now this we can create a function is larger than 10. So this function expects a parameter uh, value and if the value now this is what happens filter method is called and the is larger than method is called when you call the filter method uh, so it comes here and it passes the value which is it passes every value in this array so first it passes 10 and we can check if this value is larger than 10 if so we can return a true the value return true 
if not we can return false so what this does is if it is if it if we pass in i when we pass an item it checks this and if it is true then that item is added to the filtered array if it is false then that item is removed so right now we don't have any values that are larger than 10 so every time is larger than function runs it returns false that means that item will not be added to the filtered array so we should get an empty array so let's console dog the filtered array and confirm that let's refresh and we get blank array so let's increment this 2 to 20 and this 3 to 30 and refresh and we get those two items again these do not change the underlined array so if we console lock my array it's going to see it's not going to change these are access methods we get the complete array okay so that covers array manipulations in javascript so i hope you enjoyed this one do subscribe and do share and do like and let me what you think about these lessons have a good day